Hello YouTube fans, my name is Leo, and welcome back to another video by the Supersonic Lion. In this video, we will be talking about the hero who is 14 years old and saved the three-year-old girl from a borehole in China. And before we get any further into this video, I do want to mention that only 32 of you have hit the subscribe button, and even though this number is more than halfway to our 50 subscriber goal, and we only reached it today, this means you're missing out on my videos. So why not solve that issue by hitting that subscribe button and also if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and a comment. But now for today's video. Imagine time traveling. This is a future scientific advance in technology that doesn't exist today, but what if you could? Um, then maybe time travel to the day of December 4th, 2019. Why that particular date? You can end up anywhere in the world from that date, but where would you want to end up? However, suppose you ended up in the Jun province of China. There, had, there happens to exist a borehole there. Um, that was a site of disaster on that particular day, December 4th, 2019. And the story goes back here. Um, so, there was a little girl, and his father, name is, is Mr. Zhao, who were taking a walk. Oh... Taking a walk is just good for your health. But what's that something to do to talk about this video? Uh, then let's continue. So they ended up, unfortunately, at, at least for the girl, falling down that same borehole I had mentioned previously in this video. And the borehole, and its depth is a, is a hundred feet. A hundred feet? That's dangerous to fall down. You'd definitely die at that level at that length of a death, but this was not the case for the little girl. She only reached halfway there until being stuck, and this was a problem. Who would want to be stuck there? You may, due to not being oxygen there, it's, it's even possible to suffocate to death by this. This can create even more of a problem. Dying by falling is not the only thing because of suffocating to death. So what could happen? The borehole's diameter was, was way too small for many people to, to go in and help, like firefighters, for example, because it shows that they put, put down oxygen masks so that the little girl would not suffocate because you need oxygen to breathe, <laughs> like that. Um, so then who could help? This was a problem in how many people could, but Saying that there are zero people who could help is a lie. Yes, it is. Because there was one who did help. His name, Wang Minren. And he was 14 years old. 14? That sounds like a young age for, for help for doing such a volunteer. But he was ready, but he needed some training. For that same thing, another father, Wang, Wang Kinjun, had suggested that his own son would, would do the same thing and help. But a problem had existed, unfortunately. So he was a minor, as thought by many. Although Minrin and his parents had agreed for him to help, um, the, the rescue team was not the story for that. They did not agree. As a result, um, the son did not go. Minrin had been left for this choice. It took him six attempts for him to be um, finally successful, going headfirst down the borehole. But when it was successful, he ultimately had went down, had dug between the earth nearby. Because, you, because how can you dig a hole? It depends on what tool you dig for how deep a, a, a hole is, and a borehole is very deep. For example, a, sh a shovel probably you may be able to dig around 30 feet, but... It would take a big drill to dig like a hundred feet or something. So, um, but Vinrin did save um, the little girl. And once th that was all out of the way, um, the little girl was sent to the hospital um, for some treatment. Um, and so this is all the information we have for this video. Thanks for watching and comment, like, and subscribe for more. Bye and I'll see you next time.